So we have officially signed all the paperwork at the Ford dealership and as you can see, you now have a bright neon green TRX. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and in today's video, we are officially selling one of the cars for the channel. I'm not gonna tell you guys right away. I'm gonna make you guys wait a little bit so you have some time to guess. So I want you guys to guess in the comment section below if it is the Focus RS or if it is the TRX that I am selling and yeah, let's just get into the video. Also, the uh, Mini Cooper that I have for Mini for the week, we have just chilling there on the side, uh, stealing the Focus RS's parking place for right now so that it doesn't get dirty or anything because I got to film a review on it tomorrow uh, but pretty interesting with the color spec on this but as you guys can see we've got the t-rex parked on the rocks right here and quick update on the tire the passenger side tire is still kind of having some issues so right now it's holding air but anytime I go below like 34 psi it just starts to tank and it took it to a tire shop like I said in a previous video and they couldn't find anything they put some sealer in it and yeah it's still having issues so I might have to get a new tire not sure yet but also we have tires here in the back of the TRX hint hint wink wink maybe this will help you guys out with guessing the uh, proper car I'm not going to show you guys what the wheels look like just showing you guys the uh, tires next to the TRX spare tire but anyways we have to uh, head out now so we have to go to a couple places before we can officially sell the vehicle which again I'm not going to mention it yet first off we have to go to the bank because well, the state of Utah kind of messed up with my whole title situation. So the car's completely paid off, but Utah decided to deny the bank's request to send the title electronically. And so I never got a title sent to me. So now I have to go to the bank and get the proof that the car's paid off. And then I have to take that to the DMV with Utah and then they'll give me a title. And it's gonna be very time consuming. It's very annoying. And so state of Utah, if you're watching this, you need to like get your act together. Like we can send things electronically nowadays. We don't have to go and sit in the DMV for probably hours is what I'll have to do because the lines there are always crazy. Like. Come on. Well, I can't show you guys the uh, rest of this paper for uh, obvious reasons, because this is going on YouTube, but we officially have the certificate. So time to head out and go to the DMV and die. And also the tire is still holding pressure. So we're doing good. Okay, you know what? I know everyone hates on the Bronco Sport, but I'm not gonna lie. Finished in Area 51 and with, you know, semi-aggressive off-road tires, that thing actually looks pretty cool. Look at it. And the graphics on the side, I love it. Wow, look at that, Dually Longhorn. Anyways, we have officially made it to the DMV. Wish me luck. Well, I've got some good news. All I have to do is fill out this form and I was literally there for like maybe 10 minutes or less. And so yeah, I think that's a, an accomplishment and saves me a lot of time, saves me a lot of paperwork. So we are now off on our way to a particular dealership. We are officially here at the Ford store and also that is a Bronco with 33s. I've only seen non-Sasquatch and Sasquatch and I have not seen a non-Sasquatch with 33s. That actually looks pretty good. I still prefer the Sasquatch obviously because it's a lot bigger, but that, that doesn't look bad at all. Okay, so we have officially signed all the paperwork at the Ford dealership and as you can see, you now have a bright neon green TRX. Yeah, it'll be here when you break your next vehicle so you can buy it back. Yeah. So you're saying I'm gonna break the Raptor? Is that what you're saying? You break everything. I break, I break, I break everything. Uh, but yes, I guess we are saying goodbye to the T-Rex. I'm just kidding. No. I would never sell it. I love this truck too much. It's like, well, we'll see what happens when I take the Gen 3 off-road. But like this so far, I, I know I'm saying this in front of a Ford salesman. It's making you cringe. It's oh. Dude, you're cringing hard. This is like the best truck I've ever owned. I absolutely love it. We sold the Ford Focus. I'd show it to you guys, but this guy sold it so fast <laughs> that the car's not here. The new owner's already, you know, doing, he's probably like rallying it. He already has modification plans. There's a list. There's a list. I didn't even modify it. I, I had tires and wheels on it. And that's why there was the tires in the back that you guys saw. And you guys probably guessed it from that, but yes, we are not selling the T-Rex and my camera doesn't want to focus whatsoever. We're not selling the T-Rex. We're keeping the T-Rex. We sold the Focus and that is going to fund the Bronco, which not this Bronco, but my Bronco when it comes in. It's not in yet. It'll come in eventually. It has a hard top, not a soft top. So that's why it's taking forever. But anyways, that's all. Thank you, John Jenks, for selling it so fast. I got you. And for an obscene amount of money. That's all I got to say. <laughs> winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Look, look, dude, you look good in front of a T-Rex. Maybe you should start selling Rams. No, <laughs> can't do that. Morally, it's wrong. <laughs> Morally, it's wrong. Is that a baby raptor? 
He removed all the decals though. I don't know why. I guess that he's trying to be mature or something like that. I don't, I don't know what's happening. But sad day when you don't have the baby raptor decals on anymore. Sad, sad day. I mean, it still looks cool. But like, it's not the same because it doesn't say, I mean, it is the baby raptor, but it doesn't say it's the baby raptor. So like, I know, but the rest of the world doesn't know. It sounds kind of nice. Also, that Bronco at 33s again. So quick side note before I head home and then cap things off for today's video. We've got a bunch of like Black Widow trucks or RMT off-roads or something like that over at the uh, Ram dealership in Provo. So I mean if you're looking for one they've got a bunch of them. But let me know if you guys want me to review. I've reviewed a couple of them but if you want me to review any particular ones. So they have the Delmonico Red. They've got the green. can't remember the name on that. Billet Silver. And then they've got a white one as well. I don't think they have any other colors. I'm pretty sure that's it. But if you guys want me to review any of them, and look at those trucks like with the mountains in the background, that looks pretty dang cool. You know, just uh, casually driving and there's a freaking Viper. Look at that. I can't really show you guys the Viper too well because I'm obviously having to focus on driving. But yeah, don't see those very often. So look how dirty my window is. You can't even see the car. But I mean, it's still cool to see it in person. But I will say, since it's not an ACR and it doesn't have the big wang, it doesn't look that good. If it's not part of the Big Wang Gang, I ain't about it. Okay, I will say though, from this angle, it looks pretty cool. I guess I'm just taking you guys with my uh, daily chores. So I've got a bunch of these propels because, well, I can't drink caffeine anymore. And so uh, I'm trying these out to see if this will be a nice substitute to uh, give me something to drink, drink when I get bored of water. And then, uh, of course, we've got this container of chicken. And yes, I ate the whole thing in one sitting because I'm crazy. And also, the bag split open. R.I.P. So we have finally made it back after a long and exhausting day. And I actually did film a Super Duty while I was down there because, well, I mean, if I'm already down there anyways, might as well film something if they have it on the lot. Uh, but obviously, if you guys didn't get it earlier, we did not sell the T-Rex. We're keeping the T-Rex. Not going to sell it. I've said this in so many videos, but then like I'll make a joke about selling it and then people think that it's real and it's like, no, not selling this thing. I mean, I just put bumpers in the front and the rear and the lights on the top and the exhaust and all that kind of stuff. Like it doesn't make sense to sell, especially with how much has gone into this truck up to this uh, point. But yeah, the focus is officially gone and that is going towards the Bronco or the Raptor, whichever one comes first. I'm hoping the Bronco comes in first because I kind of have some plans. I can't really talk about it right now. But I've got some plans for the Bronco, and so I want that to come in first, and then the Raptor to come in. That's that's my hope. So Ford, if you're watching this, please send the Bronco first, and um, just let the Raptor sit in the factory for a minute before that comes out, because I, I don't need it right away. We we gotta we gotta kind of space things out a little bit. I guess speaking of Broncos and Raptors, I can give you guys an update on both of them. So the Bronco, I just got an email from Ford like a day or two ago saying that my Bronco is set to get a new hardtop sometime in October. That's all that I got from them. And then in terms of the Raptor, I think that it's already, I think it's like being produced or something like that, or like first week of October. So I can't remember. I, I get all these dates mixed up. But anyways, they're both basically pretty close to coming out. And that's why it's like, it's super tight. And I'm hoping that again, the Bronco comes in first. Um, so kind of like the tentative plans uh, right now for the channel is obviously keeping the T-Rex, the focus is gone. So yeah, no more Ford Focus content. It is long gone. The new owner is already driving it, rallying it and having tons of fun with it. Um, we're going to do a little bit more, you know, just kind of like single content with the T-Rex until the Raptor and the Bronco come in. Then the Bronco is going to come in, hopefully first. We'll do some content on the Bronco and then the Raptor is going to come in. And when that comes in, we're going to do tons of crazy content with the Raptor and then also comparing it to the T-Rex. I have a video planned that I have never done anything like this before, but I think it'd be super exciting. What I want to do is... I want to take out both of the trucks to the desert, which obviously I was planning doing an off-road comparison, but I want to jump them at the same time. Now, obviously I'm only one person and there's two vehicles, so I need someone else to jump it. So I'm probably going to have Dex do it because I trust him because he's jumped his Tacoma and I know that he can jump vehicles. Or if you guys don't remember the last jumping video we did, we had uh, John in his Raptor. He also knows how to jump vehicles, so I might have him jump the Gen 3. We'll see what happens. But I have this like jump area planned out where you could jump them both at the same time, like on like different little trails right next to each other and it would like make for the coolest thumbnail obviously but also the coolest like thing ever and so i think i think we're going to be able to make that work um once the raptor comes in we'll see uh, what happens and all that um but yeah i mean that's pretty much everything for today's video hopefully it didn't drag on uh too long uh, but yeah i'm super excited that the focus was uh finally sold and if you guys are wondering how much it sold for it sold for 
I think 41,700 something, I can't remember the exact amount, but it sold for over $40,000, which is crazy because just a few months ago when I bought it, I bought it for 34 plus the new brakes, $35,000. So in, you know, six months, or not even six months, it's been like, what, four months of ownership, it's appreciated like five grand, which is pretty crazy if you ask me. And so the fact that I bought this car, drove it a little bit, and then I was able to sell it, make a little bit of money, I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, other than that, that's gonna sum things up. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys.